my goodness, the things that I had to do to get my audio to start working. And then I ended up not even using my mic. This is my husband's mic. It's Mike's mic. I'm so dumb. <laughs> so, hi friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this really cool bow. It's my first bow that I've ever made. Um, the paint job isn't really the best. I didn't really try too hard on the paint job and I didn't even bring out my airbrush. I was like, I'm just gonna hand paint it. And look, 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 look. It shoots. Oh, it's so cold. I made a weapon of mass destruction. Perfect. Not very well, but it shoots. <laughs> this is my first video of 2021, and as you can tell, I am in a new space. We moved into our new home, and this is my new craft room. It's not fully put together yet. I have to make a desk. I'm making my own desk. I'm making a little U-shaped desk so that I can hang out over here on my PC and like fawn over e-girls, and then I can turn around and start working on things. So that's exciting, that's my plan. But for right now, I just have like one desk. So I'm floor gang for a while. So yeah, lots of, lots of fun floor work. It's a good time. So when I get my desk all put together, I'll show you guys more of the craft room. It's much bigger. I have lots of space. I also have a garage now and a basement that I can work in and not get dust all over the house because that was an issue that I had. I got dust everywhere. We're not gonna do that again. Don't let me do that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is just a voiceover tutorial. I may have missed filming a few things because it was my first time doing it in a very long time. So let's go ahead and just hop into the tutorial. So the first thing I did was draw up a rough design and get an idea of what exactly I wanted to make and then I put that sketch onto a large sheet of paper, only half of it though to save on paper. Next I took a half an inch PVC pipe, heated it up, and as you can see I marked out where the middle is and where the two bends will be. Once heated up I placed the PVC pipe over the pattern I made and I bent it into the right shape. Then I repeated the same thing on the other side. I then heated up the middle and bent it inward. Heating up PVC will release some toxins, so make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator. So the bow was pretty big, so I cut down both of the sides. You can use a Dremel to cut PVC, but I have tools now and I'm gonna use them. Next, I cut out the foam patterns. There's a little ladybug. After rescuing the ladybug, although it was like 30 degrees outside and a few days later a massive snowstorm came by so like I don't think my efforts were actually useful at all. I think it died. But I put the patterns onto 10 millimeter foam and I pinned them down and traced them with a pencil. Because I'm very old and my body hurts. I cut out the chunk where the patterns are and I brought it up to my table so I could sit and then I cut out the smaller pieces. I didn't bevel any edges here, these are all just straight cuts. Next I sanded all the edges and I rounded them out as I sand. Round. I also heated up the foam to melt any of the little fuzzies. Wee! Oh my god, wee! Then I just glued the pieces together with some barge and then I glued them to the bow. I guess I did not film this process of gluing them, but I 
just kind of stuck them on there, you know, nothing special about that at all. For the arrow tip, I cut out two hearts of 6mm foam and I glued them together. The arrow itself is just a dowel rod and I just shoved the dowel rod into the arrow tip. <laughs> I cut some trim out of foam to wrap around the bow. It's so much easier to buy the rods that are already like beveled and they're already like a triangle that you use for trim around armor pieces and stuff. It's so much easier to buy them online. If you want to do it yourself, you just make two beveled cuts on a strip of foam. Did I explain that properly? I don't know, but that's all you do. <laughs> and then I just glued it to the bow. For the string, I drilled a hole through the bottom of both sides of the bow, and then I guided a temporary string through for painting. The final string is some pink paracord. Next, I took a strip of 6mm foam that is beveled on one side, and I wrapped the handle. I start at the middle of the handle and work towards the edge so that it's nice and thick, and I do this on both sides. It does overlap in the middle. I really wanted a big, like, blizzard art style looking handle on it, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know, their weapons, like, they have such a specific look to them, and I was going, I was going for that look, just for the handle part. <laughs> then I sanded the heart tip. It's nice and pointy. So I can stab you with my love. And then I hung up the bow from that temporary string from two hard points in my garage. So then I coated the boat, the boat. So then I coated the bow with a coat of Plasti Dip. Yeah, words. For the paint, I am matching it with a set of lingerie I got for a Patreon shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, eyebrow raises. So I chose uh, three different pinks and then I just hand painted the bow. Nothing extra about the way I painted it. It was actually a really simple paint job. I didn't I didn't really try that hard on it. For a little extra spice, I painted the inside of the hearts with gold just because I thought it looked nice. And that's really it. I hope this was somewhat interesting to watch. Thank you so much for hanging out. I have some really exciting stuff coming this year and I'm very excited to make stuff and show you guys the things that I make. It's going to be very exciting. Especially now that I have a place to paint and sand without getting it all over my house. Who let me do that? Why did I do that? Anyway, thank you so much to my patrons. You're all amazing and I love you. Wonderful. 10 out of 10. I love you guys. Aaron, Adam, Ashley, Blue Panda, Brendan, Brian, Burner Account, Catastro Kitten, Chris, Corey, David, Eric, Jim, Joshua, Libby, Logan, Malwis Murden, Nanamon, Randy Vaughn, Sakura Kitty Chan, Silver, Synergy Craft, Tony Hearts, and Valdemir. Ah, thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day. And I will see you guys whenever I make another video. <laughs> Bye.